So welcome to Techno Day Life. In uh, today's episode, we're going to be installing Proxbox, which is a virtualization sort of operating system. So basically, it's a bare bones operating system that then we can install other operating systems or VMs on top of. So we can run multiple versions of things on one machine. So if you like this video, make sure you like, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, and that way you'll be notified of new videos coming up. And here we go now. Okay, so today we're going to install Proxmox, and so the first thing you need to do is have the Balena Etcher, or formerly known as Etcher, downloaded and installed. Then next we're going to download Proxmox, and so just click on the free download button. And when we do that, we'll be taken to the download page. And actually just download the top one, which is the Proxmox VE installer, and click the download button. Once you've done that, open Etcher and select the image and open and make sure you have a drive installed i'll do that right now and then it, the that drive will show up and then click flash and then once that's done pull that out and we'll install proxmox okay and so to boot from the usb device you need to make sure you change your boot settings so your bios settings so that you boot from usb and how you can find out how to do that is uh, Google your computer's name plus accessing BIOS or BIOS, and it will give you the command. Uh, my computer, it's either escape, depending on the computer, F2, F10, or F9. Those are the different ones. So once you get to this uh, screen, uh, press enter. So we don't have KVM uh, in, uh, initialized in the BIOS. I'll leave a link above to how to do that, but then click OK. And then click Agree. And you can just leave this here, click Next. And I'm in the United States, and I just need to change my time zone. Then click Next. And then put in a password. And you actually don't need a valid uh, email address, uh, but you can put in one. Then the system will email you if there's problems. Click Next. And then we need to make up a name for our host. And then click Next. And then it will start installing. So once that's done, then you need to reboot. Click Reboot. So once we reboot, then it will give us our IP address. And so we just have to remember 7 colon 8006. And so for this, we need to put in HTTP, HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.254.7. And so this first half is my network. We have to have in that S there for this to work. And then colon 8. 006 and then hit enter and then hit advanced and proceed and so you'll get to the login address and so we're going to log in as root and then pam means whatever the password or the people are on our local server so we'll put in our local server address and then log in and so you can just ignore this thing where it says it has you don't have a valid subscription. This is for if you want to have support services. And then click OK. And that's how you install Proxmox. And then in a future video, what we'll do is we'll actually create a VM and we'll show you how to do that. That's it for today. And so if you like this video, make sure you like. And if you haven't already subscribed to Get notified of future videos and have a great day. Bye-bye.